neglect and murder against Indian people becomes common. This is where it started, and this is where it's going to end. It's a good day to die. Lord, no. We weren't there to, to start a clothing drive. We weren't there to, to start a toy drive. We were there to bring an end to the conditions that we were living in. They beat us for speaking our own language. I could never understand it. You couldn't relate to your Indianness, and they just beat the heck out of you. The government forced Native people by rounding up children and taking them to boarding schools. If you let the bully just keep smacking you in the face and you never do anything about it, and then one day you jump up and hit him with a rock, things are going to change. When you abuse people so long that the only thing that they can turn to is confrontational politics, they're going to do that just as sure as uh, this sun that comes up and goes down. I'd see in the news about people protesting against the war and the civil rights marches of half a million people in Washington, D.C. But no one was speaking for Native people. A lot of people got together and decided that they were going to march. We're going to get in their face. We're going to march on the police department. Of course, we're going to march on the public school. Yeah. What is the sacrifice that, that we Native Americans have made? We can't tell it in, in, by the amount of land that they've taken from us. We can't tell it by the massacres that they've committed. But the totality of all of it, that's where the pain is. A good day to die doesn't mean we want to kill you. It's, it's a good day for people to stand up for what they believe in. And if you have to be killed in the process, it's still something that's worthwhile.